What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nuggles YouTube channel. Today is Fan Friday, and today's winner was Noivern Rishram Hydrogen deck. And uh, Colton Day actually suggested this deck, and he actually gave me the list too. So we're playing Colton's list now. The only difference between mine and his list is that instead of the fourth Rishram, he take, played two Hydrogens, but not only own one on one. So we're gonna go with four Rishram, two Hydrogen. I mean, instead of the, uh, we're going with four restaurant, one hydrogen instead of the two, three. I guess we could have played maybe another switch card, but we're going to go with this right now, see what happens here. So we're going to use restaurant here with Turbo Blaze once during your turn before you attack, and this Pokemon is your active Pokemon. You may attach a fire energy from your hand to one of your dragon Pokemon, and of course, we're going to attach it here to Noivern. Uh, Noivern has Echo Location, which is the key thing here. Echo Location says, if any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks, flip a coin if heads to prevent that damage. So that way you can't be hit by, uh, I guess, you know, attacks and stuff like that. And your Nova can survive basically forever if you can flip heads. Now, the attack here is Boom Burst. It's not that strong of an attack. This attack does 30 damage to each of your opponents. Pokemon don't apply weakness or and resistance. And when I saw this at first, I was like, are we playing Dustnor or not? And he was like, nope, you're not playing Dustnor. You're just going to just win by using Boom Burst over and over again here. And so that's what we're going to do here today. Now, we do play the one Hydrogen. This is just for the Dragon Road ability. If there's a Stadium card to play, the retreat cost of each of your Dragon Pokemon is two less. So that way, the Restaurant does have free retreat. The Noivern has free retreat, which is pretty cool here. Now, we play two Shamans here for the setup effect. When you place Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may draw cards. You have six cards in your hand. And this is just so you can get multiple Noiverns down on your first turn. It will play one Verizian here because we do have the Dragon Energies, which counts as any other energy types, or as any energies. So that, uh, that way, Laser and Special Conditions can affect you that way. Now, if we three Acrobike here, look at the top two cards of your deck, put one of them in your hand, discard the other card, just to help set up. One Computer Search, one Professor Letter to help search out fires. Three Switch, three Trainer's Mail, look at the top four cards, pick a Trainer except for Trainer's Mail. Four Ultra Ball just to help get Noiverns and Rich Rooms out. Uh, four verse secret to reuse supporters. Two cores. Shuffle your hand into your deck. The draw number of cards equal to the number of bench Pokemon in play, both the and opponents. Two license or bring up bench Pokemon. Two in, which is shuffle be each player's each player shuffles their hand into your deck. Then draw a card for each prize card remaining, which is pretty good because we're usually not gonna take prizes till late game, while your opponents probably won't easily take their prizes. Two fan club here, just say, like I said before, just so you get multiple no noibats and stuff out turn one. Uh, one juniper, or four juniper here, I said one at first, but it's four. Discard your hand, draw seven. One wally, try to get that turn one noivern if possible. Eight fire and four dragon energy. Now, dragon energy can be only attached to dragon Pokemon, but this card provides every type of energy, but only provides two energy at a time, only while this card is attached to a dragon Pokemon. And that's the deck. The whole point, like I said, is to use boom burst. Try to knock off all, try to kill all Pokemon off with just using Boom Burst, and you have Restroom to power up the Noivarns. But hopefully, enjoy the deck and let's see it in action. Alright, so I think it's St. James 256 playing a Grass deck. Uh, maybe it's all Verizia and Genesect. If it's that deck, I think we have a shot. I want to see why we wouldn't. I mean, <laughs> alright. See here, just depends what he's playing here. It is a all grass deck. Oh, we get a Russian Ram, we get a Wally. We have the potential to get a turn one Noivern. So we see if Rizzy come down out to play here. All right, very interesting. Can we draw into an Ultra Ball? Let's get a Noivern and start swinging. Here we see a Getsus. Never mind that play. Oh my goodness, we just got Getsus turn one. What card is this? So we're gonna see a superior deck coming out to play. Uh, we get the Ultra Ball. We'll discard the Wally and Verizian. Here we get a Noibats. Now, how many Noibats do we have in here? One, two, three, four. We have one, two, three, four Noiverns. All right. Now, the only bad thing about Verizian and Genesect is they usually don't play energy cards. Or I mean, stadium cards. Sorry, I saw all the energies in my hand. I was like, man, that's a lot of energies. All right, we get a Colors for next turn. Put a Fire Energy down here. And yeah, we'll just uh Yeah, we'll just end our turn there. It seems pretty fine. Um we got a colors for next turn. We can colors for two, that's great. Alright, see a servine come down. That, yeah, servine, right? Yeah. So we see a laser. So he does play laser and I discarded my my Verizian. Oh no. Alright, so we do wake or we do stay asleep here actually. Alright, so my turn. We get the double dragon energy, but we can't use it right now because we are not a dragon Pokemon. Mm. Now we can Turbo Blaze to ourself. And next turn it hit him for 110. Hmm. It's 
tough decision here. We'll Turbo Blaze to Fire Energy here, retreat to the Noivern, and here I guess we'll tackle for 10. Seems pretty good. I don't want to close for 2, that seems pretty risky. Unless we are 2 is like a Shaman and a Noivern, that'd be like, oh man, that's like the perfect 2 cards. Now he can knock out my Noivat this turn. That's a risk or I'm willing to take here. But next turn we can do, oh, there we see a laser. Does he have the energy or not is the question. All right, he doesn't have the energy here. So here we switch. Hmm, or we can start using Noibat. Oh, no, we're going to Noibat. Oh, no, no, oh, no, we can't. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I guess we're not going to no the Noibat right, right, right now. So we'll Turbo Blaze that here with Juniper. Get the Noivern, put down the Noibat. Um, act Ultra Ball these two way to get another Noibat. Put him down, and here, we'll save the Shaman just in case he ends us. Here we'll Bright Wing for 110, and then we'll discard a Fire Energy there. There we go. Kind of uneventful for my opponent right now. He doesn't really have anything, so sorry about that. Now, the only bad thing about attaching a Double Dragon Energy to the Rest Room is we can only attack with the three Noiverns, because we only have three Double Dragon Energies left. Uh, here we see a Pokemon Center Lady come down, healing 60 damage. All right, on to my turn here. We get the Double Dragon Energy, we get the Shaman, draw the five cards. We get another rest room here. Um, I guess we can just Turbo Blaze to the active and use it. Or we can retreat and attack with Noivern. You know what? We're going to go with the Noivern play. We're going to Turbo Blaze this here. We'll retreat the double dragon energy here. And here we'll just boom burst for 30, 30, and 30. We could have been a smarter play and actually knock out the Verzine here. But this is Fan Friday. You asked for the Noivern to actually take a win here. So we're going to use the Noivern to actually knock out these Verzines. Now I know it's kind of uneven from my opponent's side because he hasn't really drawn to energies. Here we see another Pokemon Center Lady. Alright, everybody's at 30 now. Yeah, everybody's at 30. Alright, so my turn. Uh, we get the double Dragon Energy here. We get the other Restroom down. And we'll Boom Burst here for 30, 30, and 30. 30s are starting to stack up here. Everybody has 6 damage now. Next turn we can knock out the Servine. So we see Grass Energy finally coming down here. And we see a Venusaur EX come down. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Alright. So, oh, man. And I discarded the Verizian. Oh, no. The Mega Venusaur can paralyze us. That's, that's really funny here. How many switches have we gone to? Two. So we have one switch left in deck. Here we see a Lysander bringing up the Noibats. Why would you pick up a Noibat? That's not very nice. Alright. <laughs> I guess he was like, you know what? Echo location is going to be kind of annoying here. So let me get around it. Uh, Hero Trainer's Mail. Give me a switch. Alright, we get the Verse Seeker for Colrus. That's good at least. We'll attach a Fire Energy here. Verse Seeker for the Colrus, like I just said. And we'll Colrus for 5, 6, 7, 8. Seems pretty good there. Um, I guess we'll just retreat to this guy. And use a Boom Burst. So 30, 30, 30, 30. We take our first prize of the game. Now 80, 80, and 150 left. Seems pretty iffy, but we'll see what happens here. Alright, we see an echolocation flipping heads, so he actually doesn't hurt us. Can he still look for energies? Yeah, just prevent damage. Okay, so he can still look for energies. So let's see, more energy going to the Venusaur here. Can we have, do we have enough resource to knock out this Venusaur, basically? We're going to have to use a Turbo Blaze once again to actually take a knockout here. But the scary thing is, how do we have enough double dragon energies left in the deck? So here we will... Ultra Ball, and we'll discard the Letter and the Hydrogen. I really don't think those are going to be useful here. We'll get the Noivern, put them down, and I guess uh, we get Lysander the Verizian. I think that might be the good play here. So yeah, we'll computer search these two way, get the Lysander, and we have the other Double Dragon Dream left in our deck too, so that's pretty useful to know. We'll bring up the Verizian here, so he can't retreat unless he attaches the energy here, so 30. 30, 30. So now that Verizian's kind of getting stacked up now. Mega Venusaur has what, 220 HP? Maybe 240. Either way, we're going to smack him 60 more damage. So pass from my opponent here. Come on. Oh, we draw the double dragon energy. I don't want to drop it yet just in case he plays a Enhanced Hammer. Enhanced Hammer is the bench uh, restroom. So now the Venusaur has 90 HP left. Alright, see another Servine come down, or Snivy come down. We are slowly winning this game here. We'll get another Boom Burst. We'll take four prizes here. Boom, 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 boom burst. Alright, boom, boom burst. It's boom burst. You silly. Take four prizes there. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Here comes Venus already. That's come out to play here. Does he get the Mega down or not? Here's the Andrew Retrieval. 
Now, if you can, Jungle Hammer here to heal some, heal 30 damage. Um, here we see Hair Cross come down. Once again, we can just win with Rush Room this turn, even if he heals 30 here. All right, so Echolocation, knocking us out, healing 30. But you know what? It's all about the Boom Bursting. We're going to keep going with the Boom Bursting here. I think that's the right play here. Um, the only problem is we're going to knock out his Turbine <laughs> at the same time. Or before we knock out his Venusaur. All right, look, you got to heal your Servine. That's what you got to do here. So we'll license with this hair cross, and here we'll boom burst. So 30, 30, 30. I didn't even attach energy or anything. We're just having some fun here. I just want to win with boom burst. So let's see, what does that point have here? He can't really treat this hair cross as a three or two cross. We see energy go down there. We see an echolocation tail, so he hit us for 40. And uh, did he heal? Oh, reduce. Uh, is it? Any damage done to this Pokemon? Oh, done to this Pokemon. Why would you do that here? I want to. Oh, I don't want to. Uh, no. Okay. We got to figure out how we can not knock out this Snivy and win the game this way with Boom Burst. All right. Man, I need you to evolve into Superior, please. Uh, okay. So, what can we do here? We can treat the fire in here and attack with Reshram to do 110. Yes, that seems like a great play. S oh, Kami, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Kami. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. We'll treat the fire energy here, attach the double dragon energy. Here we will Ultra Boy, the fan club, and the Reshram. Um, do we have a fire energy left? We do have fire energies left. Okay, sweet. We'll get a Reshram. Oh, we'll Acrobike. Doesn't really matter. We'll discard the. Oh, we'll grab the end. I meant to discard it. And here we'll bright wing for a 90. He doesn't. We're not knocking him out yet. Oh, we still don't knock him out with boom burst. No boom burst. You're supposed to you're supposed to knock him out, buddy. All right. Let's take care. Here's the evil soda. Yes, he's gonna get superior out. Okay, sweet. Is it weird that I'm cheering that he's getting superior out? Ah, who cares? Whatever. It's fine. Alright, so let's see, what does my opponent do here now? He gets the Spear down, which has Royal 10, which can heal 10 damage from each of his Pokemon during his turns. It might be kind of annoying here. He might actually come back and win the game with this, uh, with Superior. I thought he was playing the other one, which I don't, which I, oh, no, I'm thinking of a different card, sorry. <laughs> I think it's the one that, lets, like, lets you attach two energies and then heal 30 when you do it. Maybe that's the same card. Alright, so we see some heal going on here. Here we get the Turbo Blaze attached to Fire Energy here. Um, don't we have one switch left in the deck? One, two. Unless our last card is a switch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, here are just Verse Seeker for the Chorus. And hopefully we have the switch left in our deck. Yep, that's fine. Alright, sweet. We get the switch here. And here we'll just Boom Burst again. Oh, 10, 30, 30. No, why do, why do you do this to me, Heracross? Stop using guard press. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty annoying attack there. But he can't, okay. Gigapire. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he can knock us out with Gigapire here. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, I don't think, we might be able to win with Boom Burst here. You can do 30, 30, 30. Put both of these Pokemon down, low HP. Maybe we should have brought up Superior. If we can Verse Seeker, I, I know there's a Verse Seeker left in the deck. I've seen it floating around in my hands. We can Verse Seeker up the Superior and uh, take three prizes in one turn. So let's see, what is what is St. James doing here? Come on, St. James, don't do this to me, buddy. No, don't do this. Come on, St. James, keep going. Thank you, buddy. Don't quit on me yet. You got it. You got this, James. You can win the game. I believe in you. I believe in you, James. <laughs> I just went with Boom Burst. All right, let's see here. Oh, no, another energy comes down. He can Giga Power for a knockout here. No, no. Oh, Echolocation comes in clutch. Yes. Yes. All right, all right, all right, all right. We get to Verse Seeker. So we have the Life Center now. Echolocation come in clutch here. Bring up Superior. Hero Boom Burst for 30, 30, 30. All right. So 50, 40, 40. Okay. This is going to take a little while to actually knock out. Oh, he has a one or true cost too. That's so nasty. All right, so he can just retreat here and uh, use Giga Power again. Hopefully, he doesn't have any energy to retreat here or switch. I don't mess everything up. I want to take as many prizes as I can here. What are you doing here? Come on, St. James. 
I believe in you, buddy. Like I said earlier, you got this. You can beat me. <laughs> I'm a coach of my, my opponent to actually beat me here. Just don't attach your grass to your superior retreat. Just, like, attach it to, I don't know, hair cross. So you can use mega hair cross, even though it only needs three energies. All right, so he mega evolves here. No, no, he messed, that messes everything up now. <laughs> I wanted to knock out all Pokemon to play here. All right, so boom burst here for 30, 30, 30. All right, will we deck out before we actually do this off? I don't, I don't know. This is pretty crazy here. Boom burst is technically only doing 10 now between turns because it's superior. All right, so let's see another pass from our opponent. Here we get another boom burst coming off 30, 30, 30. And we heal another 10 here. Oh my goodness. At least the hair cross is superior at the same HP. So we take three prizes in one turn. <laughs> it take eight prizes. That's what I'm excited for. I just want to take eight prizes. Oh, we see Mega Venus are coming active. And Echolocation coming clutch. Oh my goodness. Oh, but <laughs> what are we right now? Are we paralyzed? Oh no. We're paralyzed. <laughs> We're going to lose this game. Because we're paralyzed and we can't retreat because all of our switches are gone. <laughs> oh my goodness, we could have won so long ago. No, my plan is backfired. Backfired <laughs> Mega Venusaur coming out to play. Oh no. Alright, can we okay we can still win here though. We can still do this. We could bright wing for a knockout. I thought we were gonna lose for a second. Alright. Tails, sweet. We're dead. Thank you. <laughs> I was really scared we were going to lose there. If I would have flipped heads and been paralyzed, I would have decked out right now and been in trouble. But now we get the energy here. We can just Brightwing for the knockout, discard whatever, and there we go. We get the victory. Even though we went with Boom Burst, that was pretty scary. And like I said, if we would have flipped heads and just been stuck in the active spot, I would have had a Verse Seeker for an end and just like, oh my goodness, got to wait forever. I mean, I probably still would have won. Because we have the Shaman and, and Juniper and stuff like that. But hope you enjoyed this video. And in one second, you'll see another game with Noivern. And I actually played it their mirror match randomly on Pokemon on this on PTC Joe. So hope you enjoyed this game. Just give me one second, you'll see the mirror match. Alright, so we're playing against Grinning Gengar. I guess the Gengar is grinning at us. But he has Garchomp sleeve, which is kind of confusing. Um, Let's see. Tails. He gets to go first here. Now, we do have a possibility of attack at turn one here since we do play the Wally. Here we see a Meow Stick. Super Scoop Up. Oh man, what are we? Are we playing like the Mirror? That'd be crazy. Start a Restroom here. The Meow Stick lets you move energies, any, or damage counters any way you want to. So, here we draw for a Mulligan. Alright, so, oh my goodness, it is a Noibat Mirror match going on right here. What the heck? All right, this should be interesting here. We're both gonna be flipping coins and see who gets hurt here. <laughs> this is mirror match. We had one um, t on Monday too. We had a a Don Fair mirror match going on, but here we see a, a dark energy going to Noibat. See an Ultra Ball discarding an Ultra Ball and a Noivern. Let's see what else happens here. See a Wild Fit come down. Oh no! Don't play Wild Fit. Why would you play that card? We see a bicycle for three. We see another Noibat come down. Shaman for four. And let's see what else does my opponent have here. What is Stadium down for us? Because we don't play any stadiums. Oh, we see him. We're switched to a Wild Fit. Oh my goodness! Why would you do this to us? Now we got to think about what we're going to do here. All right, we see a Muspet come down. Now we can't Light Center up a Noibat and Ultra Ball for Shaman and stuff like that. Keep the party going. Here we see a Roller Skates heads. Man, he is drawing through the deck pretty quickly here. Makes me think that he might be playing Trump card. Alright, so we'll license up a Noibat. We'll license up the Shaman, so he has to at least waste energy on the Shaman. Here we're Acro Bike. Uh, oh, oh, two bad cards. No, I should have Ultra Ball first. Alright, and here we'll Ultra Ball discard an Ultra Ball and a Verse Seeker. Here we'll get another Noibat. So one, two, three, four. All four in here. One, two, three. Alright, so we, of course we just discard him one. Put the Noibat, Noibat down, put a Fresh Slider, get the one energy. Here we will Turbo Blaze. If... Oh no! I didn't mean to do that! No! <laughs> we'll play a Shaman here. Uh, get a Trainer's Mail. For nothing. 
And I guess we'll just uh, we'll trade his mail again and see what happens here. We get a computer search. Uh, I guess. We'll just end our turn here. Just we can't test Jungle Dragon Energy to Noibat anyway because he's not a dragon Pokemon yet. Here we see Noivern come down from my opponents. Here we see a another Noivern come down. Now it's gonna be interesting. Oh, so we see another, another uh, first double dragon energy come down. Here we see a Bianca for three. Super scoop up. Tails. Shame it's saying that, but don't run away from me. Okay. If any damage is done to this Pokemon, very interesting there. All right, so we see Tails here, and a pass for my opponent. So on to our turn. We have the computer to search to get out a Noivern, but is it worth using it for that? Um. Hmm. I will say yes. We're gonna computer search these two for Noivern, then uh, put it down here, and then we'll just in. So we get the double Dragon Energy here. We get the Trainer's Mail. Um, we'll get the. Do we need any of these cards? Is the real question. I don't think so right now because if we Juniper again or in. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, I don't think any of these cards are really that useful. We'll put another Noibat down in here. We'll just end our turn. Alright, so on to my opponent's turn. Does he get the first attack off or not? Here we see another Noibat come down. We're going to see a lot of heads being flipped this game. That's for sure. So what does Grinning Gengar got for us? Um, we have to wait and see. Now the Meowstic is going to make things interesting because the Meowstic lets you move around damage counters any way you want to. So... Here we see a Dark Energy going to the Shaman. Um, maybe retreat to a Wobbuffet? And hopefully, I don't know. Alright, nope, just a pass there. Alright, so my turn. We'll Ultra Boy, the Restroom, and the Verse Seeker to get another Noivern down. Seems pretty good there. Put the Noivern down. Here, whatever. Juniper, give me a switch and an energy. Acrobike, energy. Alright, we'll get the Acrobike for the Acrobike. Play the Acrobike again. For the Shaman. All right, here we'll play the switch, Ultra Boy, the Juniper, and Hydrogen. And here we we have room for one more. Yeah, we have one more room for Noivern. There we go. Get the Noivern, put him down. Here we'll shame it again. Come on, buddy, give me energy. There we go. All right, so here we will boom burst for 30. Time to flip some coins. Nothing. Time to flip a coin. Yeah, 30. Time to flip another coin. Nothing. <laughs> and then 30. 30. Alright, that was a pretty crazy turn there. This is going to be a pretty fun match here. Just uh, everybody flipping coins. He's probably going to win the match though because he's going to be able to hit the Shamans and the Rest Rims. And we see that he played... <laughs> Alright. Sorry about that. But if he sends a Wobbuffet, that would be pretty funny. If he sends a Wobbuffet, the Noivern's abilities don't go off. So, um, if, he's, if he Sky Returns here... Okay, but it does. Okay, he's going to have the energy to retreat here. Okay, very nice. So here we see his Noivern. Time for his turn. Time for his boom burst here. Now I'm just going to Lysert the Shaman. And we're just going to keep Lysert up so he has to waste the energy to actually retreat and stuff like that. I think that's the best play here. So we see a boom burst here for 50. Boom burst here for 0. 30. 30. 50. Or 30, because Man only affects the active. Alright, so on to my turn here. We'll attach a dragon, double dragon you here. Burst Seeker for the Lysander again, just to bring up his bench Shaman. And here we will boom burst for 30. Heads, alright. Oh no, heads is, it doesn't take damage. 30 again. Here we go. Heads, that, oh, at the same time. <laughs> alright, so now he has 50 HP left. Our Noiver is probably going to die. He plays Muscle Man, which is pretty interesting there. I didn't even think about Muscle Man's at all. Uh, but let's see, does he have the energy to retreat or not? Is the question. We have the energy attack next turn. Uh, so that's good. But, okay, so he has the energy there to retreat. So let's see, what does Gengar do here? Send up his Noivern. Tails, bye bye Noivern. Heads, is it going to be the same thing again? 30, 30. Tails again? Wow, it seems like to repeat a pattern here. Alright, so on to my turn, we'll send up Noivern here. Alright, so what we're going to do now is I should have done this last turn. I don't even know why I didn't. Here we'll verse Seeker for a Lysander. 
And like I said, I should do this last time. We'll bring up a wild fit here. And here we will attach an energy. Almost didn't do that. And here we'll boom burst. So none of his attacks or all of his Pokemon get hit now. I don't know why I didn't do this the first time. That was a, a boo boo on my part. So we're going to take four prizes next turn. Um, does he have a way to treat those to question here? If he doesn't, we can coerce, try to get another dra double dragon energy, and attach a fire the following turn. We have one fire in the discard pile. We have a l bunch left to go. And we see a pass from my opponent here. Very nice. We'll put the fire energy here. Play the course. And we didn't get a double dragon energy. But here we could just boom burst for 30. Taking a knockout. 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 60 left. Okay. So we're doing good here. We took one, two, three. Four, five. We took five prizes in one turn. I didn't even realize that. Holy moly! All right, so on our turn here. Now we can just bright wing for a knockout here. Oh, but we see Esper come down. Okay, but Meowstic. If he has Wally and Meowstic here, he can win the game right now. Here we see Wally. Oh my goodness, we're gonna see Meowstic come down. Does he have the psychic energy? Oh my goodness, does he have a way to win right now? I don't think he does. Does he have enough energies? Oh man, part of me, I mean, enough damage. He has 6, 12, 18, uh, <laughs> math art, 24, there we go. I'm like, what am I doing here? All right, so we see a Shaman come down. We see a Mustang goes to his Noivern here. But yeah, I don't think he has enough damage here to actually win the game here. He's going to send Meowstic here. All right, so we're going to see some energy swapping going on here. Let's see, what does he take out here? We're all winning together. He's trying to figure out. All right, it looks like he's talking to the Shaman here. Like I said, I don't think he has enough to actually knock out everything. Um, he's going to knock out two Shamans, that's for sure. But then after that, I don't think he has anything else. Um, if that was him, I actually would knock out the Reshiram and the and one of the Noiburns. Or the Reshiram and a Shaman. That seems good. All right, so we see the energy go the damage go up to the Noivern here. This is a pretty, pretty crazy game here. I right, still see some math going on here. So he's going to knock out this Noivern. Um, and but we're just going to attack with his restroom here. We're going to Turbo Blaze to the restroom, attach double dragon energy. Oh, we don't have Lysander. Oh, it doesn't matter. Miasic has 90 HP. All oh, right. So it's a pretty crazy game here. Here we will. Turbo Blaze, a Fire Energy here, attach Double Dragon Engine here, and here we will Bright Wing for 110, taking the game here. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it was. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, so we just discard, discard the Double Dragon Energy, and they receive a victory there. The Noivern Mirror Match, I kind of misplayed there, I should have brought up the Wally's, er, I mean the Wild Fed earlier, and maybe we could have won quicker, and took like all six prizes in one turn, but we still took five prizes in one turn, which is pretty crazy with the, with the Noivern. So hopefully you're enjoying the deck, thanks for watching, if you have subscribed, please go down below and subscribe. I'm sorry it was another Mirror Match, but I mean it was a good game, I think it was a good game. But thanks for watching once again, have a great day, alrighty, bye.